Okay. Hi, um, I'm Paul Worrell, uh, founder and chief developer of Zonified. This is Friday, I believe the 8th of June. Um, and this is just my personal message uh, for a Friday before we break up for what hopefully will be a great weekend socializing. All right, so one has to have one's hobbies, right? Um, so obviously, uh, guitars and amplifiers are, are my thing. Um, actually, I haven't been doing it that long. I didn't play any musical instrument, um, you know, before my 40s, basically. And um, by the way, if you hear any clanging, we've got window cleaners uh, going around. Um, but uh, yeah, so I hadn't done any singing or, or uh, uh, violin or even a flute or recorder, they call it, don't they, um, when I was younger. Uh, but my hobby at the, was mostly racing motorcycles. And when I got too old and fat for that, I started to look for something else to do. Um, but really, the reason I'm bringing this up on my Friday uh, slot um, is, is because of the amount of effort it takes to learn something like guitar or music. Um, I think a lot of people are completely aware of the effort it takes. They've always had this ambition possibly of playing a musical instrument, in particular playing the guitar. Um, but then when they try, they realize there's just so much to learn. It's not just music, but it's just being able to control your fingers. Come on, you've tried it. You've tried to play guitar and your fingers are flailing around like this. You can't control them. Um, well, in reality, you have to practice in such sort of refined ways um, and you're not really feeling like you're playing music. So it's very disheartening. Um, in fact, for any skill, they say it takes about 10,000 hours of practice. I've been playing for maybe seven or eight years now and I bet I haven't reached three or 4,000 um, hours. Okay, so um, uh, to get any skill takes a long time. Now, if we reflect on uh, technology and software, um, I think people also are not aware of how long it takes those that are skilled um, in, in, in this area, particular, particularly in software development, how long it takes to make that skill um, a part of the way you think, a part of your DNA, um, so that it becomes fluent and natural. And when you see a problem, you can you know, like you're playing music, um, you're playing with other people, you can hear something and then respond to it. The same when you're writing software. Um, it's a very difficult uh, thing to do. So, <laughs> actually, the fact that that's my day job and I've picked this for my evening play around um, is probably not wise. They're two difficult uh, things uh, to do. So I'm just, if I'm looking for relaxation, I'm jumping out of the frying pan into the fire. Um, but anyway, this is this is what I do. I do. It's a very private hobby at the moment, um, and I think I said in a previous uh, vlog that I do have this ambition of touring America with the blues band. Um, but I've never played live and never played with anybody else, <laughs> so um, uh, that remains an ambition uh, to to to, to uh, strive for. So. Um, Yep, yeah, that's it. That's my Friday update and my Friday sort of story. Um, uh, if you want to be skilled, you've got to be prepared to put the time and effort in. Mm -hmm.